Hey guys, this is Jim from the Tangle Tackle Fishing Team, and today I'm bringing to you a video that has been much requested, and that is how to finish up all those uh, flies that you've been tying. Now, this is I'm showing you a single treble hook method. We're also going to be showing you a video of uh, a tournament tied rig, which incorporates a single octopus hook. Be sure to check out that method as well. Just as we've mentioned before, all of our, our fly tying supplies, uh, including the, the bandaboo, their banded material, are coming uh, to us from Purple Taco Fly Supply. Uh, just the, the same. We're getting all of our beads. They've got a quite a variety of beads there as well. Be sure to check them out. Some of the things you're going to need is obviously the fly that you've been tying. Uh, a hook. In this case, I'm using a treble hook. This is a number one uh, VMC spark point hook. I'm using uh, 50 pound fluorocarbon leader material and in this case I've cut it at about three feet. Uh, what you're going to do in order to determine the length is first of all you need to select your, your flasher. In this case uh, I'm using an 8 inch spin doctor and so what we do once we get our, our fly attached uh, with the beads and, and, and ready to run in the water we're going to measure about three lengths of our flasher okay so if for example my fly was was uh, already attached I would need to clip off about that 12 inches of, of the line. Okay, Always better to obviously start with more than you need. It's easier to, to cut off the excess than it is to add line to uh, a shorter piece of leader. So why do we say it's three times length of the flasher? Well, that's nothing more than a starting point. There's no hard and fast rule that says that your leader length has to be exactly three times the length of your flasher. Um, a shorter leader is going to give you more action on your fly, whereas a longer leader is going to give you less action on that fly. And some days it might just be that the fish want uh, that longer leader, they want a uh, slower presentation. Whereas some days it might want that, that shorter leader, they might want uh, a faster moving fly. It's no different than picking out which spoon, fly, meat rig, what have you, that, uh, that they prefer that day. Attached our fluorocarbon uh, to the hook. In this case, I used a Palomar knot. Uh, you can use a uni knot, and there's plenty of other knots out there. You're welcome to discuss that and uh, debate that uh, to your heart's content. I'm not here to do that today. This is what I happen to use today. Uh, it's also a knot that I commonly use. Um, so basically, what we're going to do is, is we're going to try and camouflage our hook with our fly with our fly skirt if you will okay so roughly I want my treble hook sitting somewhere in there once all is said and done so right now I have that much material or this much leader to cover up with beads and I've already determined it's about five or six beads uh, just like experimenting with the, the fly uh, material colors, the, the mylar. Uh, you can ex experiment all you like with uh, bead colors as well. In this case, I just grabbed some uh, green glow beads. Uh, I could use some white glow, some blue, even yellow beads. All would have been fine for use with this, uh, this particular fly. And of course, I dropped one on the ground, so I gotta grab another one. Uh, I'm actually gonna throw six on here just for just for fun. Okay, you can see I've got six six of my beads there, and uh, that should run relatively straight, just like that, as long as my hook is attached properly through my through my leader material. Next thing I'm gonna feed my leader through the bottom of the of the head It'll pop out the top and as you can see 
that hook is right at the bottom of, of my fly material. Okay, that, once I have that rigged, okay, I have to figure out how I'm going to attach it to my, to my flasher, in this case, uh, an 8 inch spin doctor. I've already figured out the length that I, that I need. I use the attachment method of my choice. Now, I could add a snap swivel on here to make it very easy uh, to add to the back end of my flasher. And just for example, I already have a corkscrew uh, swivel on the back here, and I wouldn't attach it directly uh, with a snap swivel to this. In fact, I'd actually tie uh, a uni knot with a loop. If I was going to use this corkscrew swivel, which I've actually done here with this uh, Dreamweaver Whirly Gig, but added a, a uni knot with a loop at the end, and I'm just going to thread that loop onto the corkscrew, just like that. And in this case, this Whirly Gig is is ready to go. Now, if this were not a corkscrew style swivel at the end here, and this is just a standard uh, swivel. I could add, add a snap swivel to this and then run it right off to this uh, larger snap swivel. I could still use uh, the uni knot with the loop, even if I didn't have a corkscrew, or I have this, this loop at the end, I can feed this through the the bottom of my snap swivel, the loop at the, the steel ring on the, the snap swivel, feed it through, double it over, and I could run it just like that right off the back of my, right off the back of my, in this case, spin doctor. So that's another method as well. Um, I could also tie it directly to my the snap swivel. And there you have it, it's that simple. Okay, just make sure that uh, you're not using too many beads, but not too few either, because we don't want this hook all the way up at the uh, bottom of our of our bullet head. Okay, so we want just enough to get it up there into the fly skirt. Okay, make sure you're using a good knot for your hook connection and also for the the other end of your leader, and you'll be in business. Okay, good luck to you guys. Hope the, that helps you and finishing up those slides that you've been tying all winter, and good luck in the water.